Hey Siri. Post and verify. All right, so let's talk about what we just saw happen there. Uh, obviously, there were some things happening in Mash Camp, and obviously, it was triggered by Siri. So, how does that work, and how does that happen? It happens with a fancy little piece of kit called the Stream Deck. But the point of this whole video is I'm going to show you how you can do that without having to go out and buy one of these $150 pieces of equipment. There is an alternative. And that is Stream Deck Mobile. So Stream Deck Mobile is available for both iPhone and Google phones. It's free to install. However, you will have to pay, I think it's two or three bucks per month to use it. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here today. Elgato Stream Deck Mobile. So let's have a look at how we can actually use this. So up on screen, I've got the software that you get with your Stream Deck mobile. So this is on the computer. And then I have my iPad up here in the right hand corner. And this is showing the touchscreen interface. So you'll have the same thing basically on iPhone or uh, uh, Google phone. Uh, just, just keep in mind the Google phone, obviously you can't use Siri. And I do not believe there's integration with, uh, with Google yet as far as voice commands go. Uh, so if you wanna do the fancy, uh, Siri stuff, then you have to be on uh, iPhone. So in here, you can see I've got all my buttons set up already, and I've got some functions applied to them. And so for an example, let me just move this out of the way. And on my iPad, I'll click the top left button, which is an isometric shortcut. So of course, many of you are going to say, I know the keyboard shortcut for isometric. It's, it's Alt 7. I've been clicking it for years. I don't need to use my iPad to do that. So let's address that right now. This is maybe not uh, a thousand percent practical to use uh, especially on a touch screen like this that needs to be left on all the time to use it but it's something worthwhile to probably experiment with to see if a stream deck might work for you in your workflow so i'll bring my uh, software back over here and look at some of the other buttons so another keyboard shortcut i've got here is just the fit screen uh, but we can do more than just keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts is is, a di is not you know overly impressive. So what else can we do that makes this software worthwhile? So this button right here, let me just double click on this. And you can see all these buttons in here. So this is basically multiple commands stacked on top of each other. This is the button I pushed during the opening scene that made uh, the part go isometric. It uh, posted out to verify. It posted out to G-code. It uh, resized the windows and moved them to fit within the one screen. So a bunch of commands happening in here, all within the one button. So that's called a multi-action move, and that's uh, something that's pretty pretty useful. So you can get multiple things happening with one button push. So that's where you know memorizing your one keyboard shortcut uh, is great, but can you memorize 15 and hit them all in a row uh, every single time easily? So that's a replacement for that. Other things we can do. So this here, this PS logo, this is Photoshop. So when I click on that and there's Photoshop opened up, uh, so it's not going to open up any different than if you were to click the icon on your computer. It's just a keyboard shortcut that you've got. What else can we do here? Uh, if you like to visit a browser site often, like uh, say caminstructor.com, hey, I click a button, caminstructor.com opens up. Uh, I've also got a link here. In case you weren't aware, I've got uh, Cam Instructor, our blog here. Check that, check that out if you don't uh, know about it, blog.caminstructor.com. Uh, so what else can we do? Uh, so other pretty cool things, you know, taking that keyboard shortcut to the next level. This this button here, what I've done, it's called a hotkey switch. Now what this does is I'm able to click a button and then I'm changing the button depending on the press. So each press does a different keyboard shortcut. And you can see my key updates as well. It's updating to the actual icon from Mastercam from shaded to wireframe. So I'm toggling basically on and off between wireframe view and outline shaded view. Something else I can do with this. So this button right here, this post button, uh, no, it's not gonna make me a bowl of cereal. And we're not quite there yet as far as technology goes. Uh, but when I click my post button, what you'll see happen here is my Windows Explorer opens up into my mill post folder. So that's pretty handy if you're in and out of a specific folder from time to time. Another option we've got in here, 
So here I've got uh, my stock ticker going here. I'm, I'm, I'm eyeing up AMC stock, uh, keeping an eye on it, keeping close tabs. So it's a live tab as well. Even though I'm recording this when the market is closed, this won't update right now. But uh, uh, yeah, so those stock junkies out there, you can get a little little ticker on your uh, on your keypad that updates uh, with uh, real time <laughs> quotes. Another interesting option here. So these uh, these buttons here, we can have some more fun with it. We can uh, get outside of just doing strictly work. Uh, let's say you you make your program up and it's a really great program. Maybe you want to go something like this. Or maybe it's the alternative and you made a mistake and your tool crashed. Uh, so soundboarding options as well. So you might be thinking right now, so I've only got 15 buttons. I can think of 35 keyboard shortcuts I want to use in just Mastercam alone. And that doesn't include any other software yet on my computer. What can I do about that? Uh, so this guy over here, I've got my Mastercam logo and I'll double click on that. And you'll see here is basically a subfolder. So now I've got, you know, 14 more buttons that I can apply specific commands to Mastercam if I wanted to. So in here, let's say I've, I've got a, I've got a contour button here. So let me just slide this off to the side. Mid Mastercam, I want to, I want to do a contour. Boom. Then my contour is executed and I can start chaining and make my tool path. This guy over here, I've done a, a, a tree again, a, a multiple click function in here. And what this is going to do is let's say I've finished my file up. Um, typically what I do is I save my file. I open a new file and I load up my default mill again. So let's, why not make a key for that? It's okay. I push the button, saves the file, opens a new document up and loads my default mill and away we go. Okay. So, you know, kind of cool again, right? You know, one push of a button versus a, a bunch of pushes. Uh, so what else can we do? We've got subfolders. We got toggling of, of, uh, keyboard shortcuts. We've got launching programs. So here's one as well. Hey, this guy right here, this is, is a, a super useful one. And that's uh, one click launch of task manager. Okay. So no more reaching for control shift escape or control alt delete, uh, one button push and you can get your task manager open up. Uh, again, I can't go through all of the functionality in here. So keep in mind as well, this is thing, it's called a stream deck. It's, it's focused for streamers. So there's a lot of options based around streaming as far as, you know, Twitch, uh, OBS software like that. Uh, but there's still more functionality in here that you can use as well. So this guy in my lower right hand corner, this is another toggle switch. And this one, uh, make sure my camera's on here. You might see one of my key lights turn off. Okay, so things should have gotten darker there. And you saw the switch went dim. And I click it again, the switch lights up again, and my lights back on now. So from my phone, I can turn uh, one of my lights on and off. I can do multiple lights, but I've only got one hooked up right now. Uh, and again, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we could go much, much deeper into this. There's all sorts of great functions. And since most of you will have a, a smartphone with touchscreen, uh, you can download this and I, I do believe it's even a 30 day free trial. So you can download the software. I think you still have to use a credit card to at least get that free 30 days, but download it, check it out for 30 days. Uh, no, I'm not a, a sponsored link for stream deck. Uh, I don't get paid from them at all. I don't get a free stream deck. I wish I did, but I don't, maybe I should have made that deal before I made this video, but, uh, <laughs> but I didn't. So that's something you guys can check out stream deck mobile. Um, Hook it up to your uh, your Mastercam and other softwares. Let me know what functions you make. Uh, if you would like to see a more in-depth video on how to hook some of these things up, make some of these functions work, uh, that might be an idea as well. Maybe we can look at doing something like that in the future.